Hello everyone, welcome back to NAV development training. In this uh, section, I'm gonna discuss about NAV table objects. So throughout this uh, section, I will cover following topics. So this will help you to understand how to create tables, adding keys to a table, uh, how to work with transaction uh, for altering data into the table, validate data, manage records, and how to use filters, keys, and values. So all these topics I'm gonna cover in the upcoming videos. So first start with the creating a table. So do you know what is table? Tables are basically the building blocks for all other nav objects. They store the data that the business needs to access. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can create a table with these fields. So these are the fields that I'm going to use for create my table. So let's move to development environment. This is the nav development environment. I am currently using nav 2017 version. So for creating a table, you must have to choose the table object option from here. And then, then if you want to create a table, then you must have to click this new button or you can simply use alt plus n. So this will uh, move you to a table designer page. Here uh, you can create your all the fields that you required for a table. So write your all field names into the table designer as i showed you i want a table with five fields so in teaser another one is document number i choose code type and the length is 20 third one is just description preferred text the length of this is 30 Another is value, type is decimal, and last one is posting date. And the type of this field is date. So I am done with uh, declaring the fields into the, for this table. Now, after uh, declaring all your uh, columns into the table, you must have to save your table. You can use this option under the file, save or you can just press ctrl plus s command so now uh, it is very important to give an id to your table i just want to give 50001 and the name is example table here another option i choose uh, i also want to uh, compile this table so while compiling i want to check or validate this table is okay or not if the table is accessed into the database already with this name so i am unable to uh, create the table with this id or name so i want to uh, validate this table so i just choose now with validation and then click ok so the table is created into the system if i go back to and, and see in the table object section i see here 50001 example table so now le let's see how to run this table just select the table and hit run and now this is the actual view of my table let's understand how it is actually work actually each field in the table is just like a variable these variables are basically grouped together to form a new type of variable called a record record a record is basically a, a collection of a several variables or fields that contains a uh, meaningful data so the field definitions provide the structure for all of the tables as well as the data in them inside the system the data type of your fields can be almost anything in this example i created five fields of the most common types here uh, basically a uh, one uh, very important note i want to tell you if you do not specify a key manually into your table the field you have placed in the field number one will act as the primary key for your table here what is the field number one the entry number is the field one so this is actually act as a primary key so what is the basic property of primary key primary key always unique so i just uh, enter zero into the entry number document number test something here posting that today okay i again put the entry number zero some information some information 
posting date today and if i press tab one to enter another record in this table so the pop-up will uh, come with a error the record already exists because the entry number here is the primary key if i uh, make it one then everything looks fine again i try to enter some values but you find an again an error message here the record already exists so so this is the actual proof of how the field number one is actually act as a primary key for your table i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe my channel to learn more about nav thank you for watching